Welcome to the video. The gang is all here. I did leave one item. I knew that there was something in the back of my mind. I'm like, I know that there's still something. So a fabulous abalone carved fish pin brooch. Four dollars. We still have quite a bit left. I'm still not finished going over everybody's requests, but I'm working on it. I want to do a reading because I did realize I, realize I had permission from one of the ladies to read hers. By the way, look at that friend mail. Thank you, Sandy. And uh, that blue is rocks uh, in Oklahoma and it goes with my bracelets. It's fabulous. It's sterling. What a gener generous, wonderful lady. And then Kim, we're going to read from her, generous, wonderful lady, showered Billy Bob with per gold, pearls, sapphire, two diamonds, and um, I don't know what this pink is. This pink is probably something, too. Uh, I forget what the pinks are. And just, oh, and the blue, Peridot, and Ladybug from Italy matching uh, designer Italian gold. Gosh, googly golly, jeez, lords. Oh, that just makes me want to show y'all my little pirate pile. Um, this is jewelry I'm just starting to keep for myself that's blingy. Because I'm we are pirates, aren't we? We're all treasure hunters, but look at that. Normally I would just have sold that, but Ain't that awesome, man alive. And they trick you with a fake. Looks like it's going to be sterling. Yep. Okay, so where's me gold? Me gold is in Billy Bob's treasure chest. That's where's me gold. Look at that brooch. All these came out of the um, jewelry jars that we've been buying over the years from Shop Goodwill or the one here in town. And they're still not open yet, but... Look at that. That Remember I had to save this today, the doubloons, the pieces of eight, the hammered uh, silver cobs, Spanish galleon, gold stuff. I guess it's the gold, not the silver cobs. So gotta have to keep that. And of course you gotta have a boat, you're a pirate, you're gonna have an anchor. I didn't realize why I liked anchors until uh, Richard in um, the UK said, hey man, you like them because you're a pirate. Look at this anchor. The blingier, the better. The more diamond encrusted, the better. What else is in here? Oh, it's a little ship wheel with a, with a pearl. Diamond. That's right. And this, I don't know why I like it. Um, it. It's just, I like the colors and the design. And I don't, it, there's nothing on it. There's no, whoops, that's not good. There's no um, maker's mark. I love the reds and the green and it's a bird. But I'm not sure exactly. But it's in there. Just really, really like it. I like a lot of the pieces y'all are getting too, but you can't keep everything. Here's just a few before we do our reading. A few from uh, the, if I can quote a viewer, the Jewelry Marathon. So $3 if you'd like this. Naturals, we'll add that to the, to the batch here. Uh, there's two of these, and I like them. They are lightweight. Um, we'll go a dollar each. Uh, this one's smaller than this one. This one has some larger beads, but they're just very fun and lightweight. And I don't know. They're, they're festive and neat. I like them. Then we had some glass that's still left over. We're going to go four on this. It's all glass. It has a sterling lobster claw clasp, a pretty big one. And um, all glass, some beautiful cat eye glass. And then we have this little 
smashed like drop green, smashed with the thumb, handmade or hand blown for sure piece. I thought that was really nice. We did it so so many so fast that people probably never saw this. Um, I didn't realize this pulled out of there, but I think it's a Claire's. It's Express. Express with the bling will go $2 on the Express because it's got drops of glass. $2 on that Express. We've got this blingy sparkle will go $2. Faux pearl. Very nice. Boy, they're just, they look nice. They may be glass. Those might be glass. That, that looks too nice for, and all of these are beveled glass. So, what did I say on that? Let's just do two on that. Probably should have done three, but we'll do two. This piece, this is unique. And look at the, the way that background swirl is, and you've got a big polished stone on it. So we're at four on that one. These are from the other night. There was a hematite with rose quartz not picked up. So I'm at nine on this one. If you would tell me the minute because I still, I can't remember. I look at thousands of pieces of jewelry a month. I can't remember the, the what I say that, that, that it's going to be. You can say pink hematite nine dollars if you want because we don't have that many but i'm still struggling with people that will just tell me something that i don't they don't they forgot the minute and i don't have time to go look it up so i'm just going to move on i can't go look everything up uh, i can't watch the video over and over again this teal piece with plastic it looks like ice cubes or diamonds it's wonderful I'm at three on that that's gorgeous and some of y'all are doing a great job y'all give me the description and everything so all right for Mother's Day 1979 it was on the 13th God could not be everywhere and therefore he made mothers that's a Jewish saying I breathed my first breath because mom was willing to suffer for me I learned to walk and talk because she showed me how. I even learned to love when she first loved me. And most of all, I found God by watching her example. But how quickly I forgot. So anxious was I to leave the nest. So rushed to get on with my own living. Mother's Day isn't the only day to remember. Oh, how I wish that I had the whole year ahead to tell Mom how I care. Now that she's with God, I can only trust. It's going to be another tearjerker. That someone she knows, I, that somehow she knows I loved her. If you're lucky enough still to have a mother to love, take time today to cheer her. It needn't be a great production, a simple phone call, a letter, a kiss, or a hug can say, I care. Choose some expression you'll know she'll cherish and let it tell her, I love you, Mom, and thank you for my life. Heavenly Father, thank you for the mother you gave me. Let my life be the monument to her memory. Now, I barely got through that, and now i got even more tearjerkers coming up. So, for this one, Juanita West, I do, I did receive it. I want to say, um, she said that there are so many majestic, uh, she was born in Vermont, but moved to New York State when she was two. These are cards my mom got on a trip to Vermont. My mom has since long uh, departed. Please send me a, te a text that you received this. I've so enjoyed your videos. Well, this is another mom thing, right? So her mother, and she's willing to share this, which I'll treasure forever. Um, her mother purchased these, picked these up from Vermont many years ago, and she's willing to share something that her mother had picked up that was precious to her and her mother has long since departed so there's that mother's day now this one this is the kim that sent billy bob billy bob still just like look at 
Look at his face. God, Billy Bob, you just gobsmacked over all that gold. You don't even know what to do with yourself. Man. Anyway, Kim said, um, you may share my story. I am sure I am not the only one experiencing these difficult times during COVID. So, hi, Susan. Enclosed is payment for jewelry. I treasure hunted from your stash. And also a little something for Billy Bob. A little something, Kim? Thank you for helping me stay sane during this difficult time. You and your channel and the gang are about the only bright spot in my life right now. Well, Kim, we are going to be praying for you. And so is everybody that's with us today as we are reading this. And praying for a lot of people that think that no one's praying for them. Angelica says... You better believe it. We're going to be praying. Just move that. Just There we go. If you can, please say prayers for my mom. Her name is Sandy. She lives in Florida and is in a nursing home. She has dementia and Parkinson's disease. Hospice has been brought in to assist with her because during this COVID-19, her dementia has been declining rapidly due to the no visitors being allowed for the past couple of months. When I call to talk to her, she doesn't remember me. I already lost my dad three and a half years ago. Then my sister, two years ago, told y'all it would be a tearjerker. And now my mom is slipping away, and the saddest part of all of this is I will not be able to say goodbye to her, probably because of the COVID-19. Nothing. No funeral, no body, no ashes. My love for jewelry is because of my mom. She used to sit with me and my sister, and we would all go through her vintage jewelry box of treasures and allow us to pick out a few pieces for ourselves several times in our lifetime. So what you do brings back fond memories of a much happier time in my life. So, um, she wanted to share that with y'all. I'm sure that y'all, a lot of y'all have, uh, on an email said you've lost your, some more friends. Many people have lost friends and relatives. Someone just mentioned today on the video that they have lost several relatives or are, their relatives are ill right now with this thing. So we just want to um, keep everyone in our prayers. We're going to keep Kim in our prayers. And Kim's mom is Sandy. We want to keep Sandy, Kim's mom, in our prayers. And uh, God bless.